creative economy, as I said, it's a very important aspect that if we get it right, can transform uh, our lives. Our ministry, through the leadership of our CS, has tried to develop uh, a pipeline or conveyor belt to transform talent from it is very point of identification, nurture and develop it to the point where those talents are monetized. Uh, the entire school ecosystem is now linked to the creative economy aspect of our ministry uh, in terms of creative, uh, you know, arts and culture aspects of that ecosystem. And on a sports ecosystem, it's anchored on the sporting department in our ministry. Uh, having said that, it's not that we run the activities of the Ministry of Education, but our mantra in this government is all of the government approach, where uh, we get away, with, we get rid of uh, the elements of one person in that small corner doing their things, and then it's in another small corner doing another thing. We are approaching issues affecting our people as one government. So it is called whole of government approach. Guided by that, the school drama festival that was conducted last year was fully funded by our ministry. It's not a school program, but because it is an important uh, issue for us as a ministry, it was funded by this ministry. The school film festival was equally funded by this ministry, and the school ball games were also uh, financed and fully funded by the Ministry of Youth Affairs creative economy and sport. That will help us, you know, we recognize the school as a source of talent. And our role as a ministry is to identify that talent and provide a pipeline through which this, talent, this uh, talent is developed until it becomes an enterprise. That is what we intend to do, and that is anchored in this framework that we are subjecting to your views. So my uh, appeal to you is, give your input, don't be left out. I know uh, from 2010, uh, Theronera, you will agree with me, uh, you have been undertaking a number of policies and bills that required either stakeholder engagement or uh, public participation and many of those have not reached Mandela, right? So when we begin, I'm going to see you later. See you Now that it has been brought to you, give your input, share what you think is important to you as the people of Mandela and this region so that the people putting together this information can capture also your views. It's very important. Uh, we know your views are important, so don't come here and then go back with your very important views without sharing uh, with this team. Uh, the government, as I earlier said, is putting a lot of effort to structure this particular uh, industry in our economy because the government feels this is a very vibrant 
an upcoming sector in our economy that uh, largely, largely undertaken by our young people who by statistics form the biggest segment of our population. Uh, the government has, you know, through that establishment of pipeline, signed a number of memorandums of understanding with major industry players of this sector, including Hollywood, uh, including Grammys, those of you who are musicians, including Trace East Africa. All these MOUs were signed to develop this structure so that our young people in this spaces and ecosystem can uh, benefit from uh, their talent. Uh, in our ministry, we have one very important flagship project, which I think now it's also a household here in Mandela called Talanta Hela. You know, is here Talanta Hela? Yes. Nani ya jasikia? Kwa mkono, nani ya jasikia Talanta Hela hapa? Uh, Talanta Hela is a very noble initiative that, that I'll challenge you uh, to be part of that entails one, identify the talents which for sure we don't doubt 